Hey there, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Does it seem like every time you walk up to your car, truck, or motorcycle, you find a new scratch to repair? If that's the case, this video may help you. Uh, we're going to take a look at a scratch repair kit. Number one, it's from Sonax. Sonax really hasn't let me down too many times. Number two, this kit will take the guesswork out of, uh, well, quite a few things really. The sandpaper, because it supplies that. Four little discs for the block itself. It does supply a block. It supplies um, three towels. You don't have to grab those. It also supplies your polish and your finishing polish. So, if it uh, turns out to be for a decent price, this should be something worth looking into. You can tuck away in your trunk or in your garage just in case, and hopefully it doesn't happen, but if the occasion arises, you can tear open that kit and get to work and remove the blemishes. The Sonax Repair Kit, it's $25. I found this one on Amazon. It consists of a polish, a finishing polish, three little rags, a sanding block, and a sheet with four uh, wet sand paper uh, discs that you could stick right onto the block itself. This is the contents as I pull them out and I can show you each one. As you can see the little block it's about as thick as your thumb. It's foam so it has some give to it and it's really made for smaller individual scratches as you can go around and spot correct after uh, a wash and a clay and a chemical and mechanical decontamination. Here is a cluster of four or five scratches, all different depths. Some just uh, graze the clear coat, some pretty deep into the clear, some through the clear coat. And we're going to see if we can make any disappear whatsoever uh, or hide uh, some, some of the deeper ones or the ones that are through. And just make a uh, marked improvement here with the kit that we have. Simply pull the sandpaper disc off of the sheet, stick it onto the sanding block, I'll put a little bit of water down. You can do it wet or dry. A uh, little bit more lubrication and it's easier to use if you use uh, water and use it as a wet sanding block and get to work on the scratches. When it comes to scratches, just go for improvement. It's the simplest way to go about it, guys. And keep an eye on your uh, clear coat, on the texture of the clear coat. If you have orange peel effect to your clear and you see that starting to flatten out as you're sanding, you don't want to go any further than that. Stop, hopefully the scratch is gone or hidden enough that it satisfies you, and polish out the sand marks. It, it's not marked on the sheet, but the grit of these little sand discs are equivalent to 2500 grit. And the thing I'm noticing and not liking about these in this particular kit is they grab here and there on the clear depending on what type of clear mostly happens on soft. I of course prefer the 3M discs both Trizac and the flat hook and loop discs. They are very effective. They do not grab. They're nice and smooth. Okay I have many videos on wet sanding and sanding out scratches. You can revisit those to get more details as to how far you want to go with that. And I know you guys, some of you guys will have a lot of questions, so I'll revert you to go back to those older, older videos. I really do explain that in great detail. But I'm satisfied here with the wet sanding. So we're just going to take off the sanding discs, wrap around the towels that they give you, and break out the polish. And we can start working on the sand marks. Something else I could share with you, I'm starting to notice I do not like these towels that they sent along at all, whatsoever. I would have just preferred they sent along three little, maybe six by six inch microfibers. The polish is transparent enough. You can see uh, your improvements, removing the sand marks as you go along. Just stop every once in a while, wipe off the residue. And when you can switch over to that finishing polish, go ahead and do so. 
Yeah, not only are these horrible towels not effective in polishing, but they're very ineffective at wiping off the residue as well. All right, anyway, when we're finished with the polishing, we're going to take off that cloth, flip it over, find a clean spot, or just grab a new one, and we'll pick up the finishing polish. And right now, we're all just working on refining and refining the paint and bringing out the best clarity and gloss. Both the polish and the fine finishing polish, they're not aggressive. You can work on them by hand for as long as you need to. I gave up on the cloth they sent with and just grab a microfiber of my own. I'm going to stop right there, bring you guys in, but if you're satisfied, you can add your protection from there. If you need to, you can start back at square one if you have to. If you feel that you can sand a little bit more and hide some more of those scratches, or if you want to go back to the second step and polish, or you just repeat the finishing step. Completely up to you. As you can see there, we did make some progress. Uh, there are two scratches that are deep pretty much through the clear coat and we, we made a little bit of improvement there. They're not quite as visible. The two other ones, hard to see, they are still there, but you're going to have to grab the perfect angle with the perfect uh, amount of natural light to catch those. All right, that's going to do it. Wipe off the residue, give me a second to grab the camera, and I'll bring you guys in close, get a couple good angles using the shop light. All right, so we only used one disc, so you have three left. Again, I would like to see some different grit there. Uh, they're a little bit tacky as well. The polishes are okay. I would chuck those cloths right into the trash and grab your own microfiber. You can wrap that around the block and be just as effective. And for the final thought segment of the video, the Sonax Scratch Repair Kit is going to be a pass for me. Uh, although it was a little effective here in the video, we did take care of... Um, hiding some of the scratches and making some a little bit less visible. However, not very impressive. Uh, I'm not impressed with the material that they send with. The sandpaper itself was grippy, uh, chattery on certain clear coats, and I'd like to see some different grits sent along, maybe 800, 1200, 1500, 2000, or something along that lines. The block's okay. I'm going to hold on to that little block. The uh, rags they sent along were terrible. Just sent along little microfibers instead. The polish and the fin finishing polish were okay. Um, they were serviceable, but nothing really stood out about them. Uh, so for 25 bucks, I'm going to have to pass because I could throw something together much cheaper than that that would be much more effective. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you in the next video.